As you know, I'm obsessed with APUs. And APUs were the reason I've started this channel in the first place, so why not give my two cents about the upcoming AMD Renoir desktop APUs? Because I think it's a pretty big deal. Uh, not my opinion, the APUs. In almost all markets, AMD is very well positioned. They are very strong with CPUs in the retail channel, as you can see in the sales numbers I tweet every week. Since Navi, they are also doing okay with graphics cards. They basically own the console market. They can produce enough epic CPUs to meet the demand in servers. And now with Renoir, codename for the Ryzen 4000 APU lineup, they have a very strong APU offering. The current Picasso APU chips, namely up to Ryzen 5 3400G, were okay, but they did lack IPC, cores, and uh, modern display engine. I'm a big fan of the current desktop Picasso chips, especially Ryzen 5. It is more than enough for everyday use, it can handle nearly every game at lower resolutions, with the exceptions of maybe games like Battlefield 5 in multiplayer, where its CPU part is working its ass off and the frame times are very b bad. Terrible. Gaming is one part where desktop Renoir will really shine, and we already saw what it can do on mobile. The CPU part handles heavy multiplayer games like Battlefield 5 nearly effortless. Also, we saw insane gains in eSport games like CSGO or Dota. Also, it is not a problem that Renoir only comes with 8 Vega cores, as tests show that 8 high, highly clock, clocked uh, Vega cores can easily keep up with 11 until hitting the bandwidth limit, which won't go away anytime soon. But gaming is not where AMD is after with those APUs. There is a seg segment left open for AMD to attack, which is the OAM desktop segment. There are only a few OEM systems with Picasso available. It's like for one AMD system there are like 20 or 30 Intel systems out there. And it's easy to see why. Basically every Intel CPU includes a modern iGPU, even an octa-core CPU. The iGPU might not be good for gaming, but it has a modern display controller, quick sync, and it offers all important features for office use. Also, Intel has a huge lineup from 35 watt CPUs upward, while AMD only has a few Picasso SKUs, with the exception of maybe the H variants that target the mobile market. And um, I remember how we had to purchase new systems for our programmers. And they don't need a 2 teraflop iGPU. They need like 6 or 8 cores, a modern display controller to feed their screens and accelerate the video calls, I don't know, stream YouTube videos effortless in the background. Having a good iGPU would be cool for a LAN party after work, but that's just a bonus. So, yeah, there were simply was nothing to buy from OEMs like Dell or HP. HP with AMD inside. And even if we would have built the systems ourselves, which management does not like at all, we would have had to buy additional discrete graphics cards for every system. And most cheaper cards have like a 10 year old display controller with antique video accelerations and features and outputs. So we had to go with Intel. And they worked great to be honest. And here it is where AMD Renoir comes into the game. The new APU lineup is super efficient, offers up to 8 cores, 16 threads, they have a modern display controller, and uh, if Renoir was available like one or two years ago, I would have had no problem to convince management to buy them, but they were not there. And I think if AMD can deliver Renoir in enough quantity, it will make a huge impact in the market. But that is where I see a problem. I think they cannot produce enough. Renoir Mobile is just ramping up and uh, the desktop Picasso chips are not even one year old. So I guess we see the first OEM systems in Q4 of this year, but uh, who knows. Well, that's just my two cents. Uh, personally, I hope we get the retail Renoir soon. But everything is delayed because of COVID-19 and uh, yeah, I think Renoir will be a great disruptor 
in a segment where Intel had no competition at all and this might change now so what do you think uh, when we will get to see Renoir and do you have a do you think uh, what do you think about the potential impact in the OEM desktop market yeah and please don't forget to subscribe especially my second benchmark channel needs a big push and uh, yeah fucking YouTube doesn't give a crap about small channels enjoy